myself assistant professor nikhil bosle from computer science aml department kd college of engineering kolhapur today we are looking up with the course of computer organization and digital logic we will be looking with the unit 1 8085 microprocessor and the third uh, lesson of it is data transfer instruction here we will be understanding how the data is transferred from the microprocessor to the memory and how the data is transferred from the memory to the microprocessor here there are various types of instruction data transfer instruction arithmetic instruction logical instruction branching and control instructions so what do you mean by data transfer instruction okay data transfer instruction is transferring of data between the or among the microprocessor register or transferring of the data from the microprocessor to the memory or from the memory to the microprocessor so if this is a microprocessor we are having registers like b c d e h and as in a rough diagram we can see that there are registers b c d e and h l now a 8 bit value can be passed from b register to the c register or the 8 bit value can be passed from c register to h register or the 8 bit value can be passed from the h register to e register or any of the registers among it right or consider we are having a memory in which we will be having the 8 bit data the next instinct will be consider again there are registers as we have the idea b c d e and h l okay there will be again possibility where the content from one of the register should be passed to the memory location or the content from the memory location to the pass to be passed to the register so basically data transfer instruction is passing up the content from registers to register or transferring the content from the register to the memory or from memory to registers so among that we are having various types of instruction the first one instruction we will be looking is move instruction okay rd comma rs so we will take up with the example and we'll understand what do you mean by this concept if i have the instruction as move b comma c okay it means that the content from the c register is to be passed is passed to the b register that is move the content from the source is passed to the destination and here the content of the c register is unaltered for example if the value of b is 45h and the value of c is 84h and we pass the instruction as move b comma c that means the value of c register will be passed to the b register so after executing that operation the value of b becomes 84h and the value of c will be 84h itself so in the move instruction the 8 bit value from one register to another register is transferred now the next part we will be looking is to understand the concept of m now what do you mean by m m represents the memory pointer memory pointer Repre is represented by the hl register okay we know that each of this register saves 8 bit of data and we combine both of this register together it will be representing 16 bit of data 
This 16 bit of data can be represented as the memory location of the memory. Okay. Now, actually, before that, we will consider that let us consider in this microprocessor. I am having the value of H and L register as 4983. So, in the H register, I am having the value as 49 and in the L register, I am having the value of 83. So, the total value of HL register is 4983. Okay. Now, this 4983 can be represented as the memory location. For example, if I write the value as mu b comma m, okay, that means the content from the memory pointer will be passed to the b register. Okay. Here, After, after having the value of HL as 4983 and after passing the instruction move B comma M, that means this value 4983 will be represented as the memory location. And the content of that memory location will be passed to the B register. Okay. So, here M represents the memory pointer which is represented by the HL register. Whatever the value of the HL register represents the memory location and the content of that memory location is passed to the B register. Okay. Another example, if I write the instruction as move M comma C. Here, the content of the C register will be passed to the memory location pointer represented by the HL register. So, this is the com concept of M. Now, we will be looking with the another instruction. Named as MVI data. Okay. If I pass the value as MVI B comma 84H, MVI represents move the value immediately. So, the value 84 will be passed to the B register. If I write the value as MVI H comma 83H, that means the value 83 will be passed to the H register. Now, we will we'll again look up with the memory pointer representation. If I write the value as MVI M comma 84H. Here, what do you mean? we represent that the value 84 will be passed to the memory location pointer. I will look, I will uh, give up through an example for you. Now, if the HL register has the value as F083, okay, the HNL register has the value as F0 and 83. So, the total value here is F083. This F083 represents the memory location pointer. When we, re when we write M, that means the value of HL register will be represented as the memory pointer. And here through the instruction MVI M comma 84H, the value 84H will be passed to the memory location pointer. So, this is the concept of MVI. Next, we we'll look up with the another instruction, LXI. Now, the concept of LXI is 
to pass the 16 bit data to the register pair as we had seen through the first lecture the register pair is either represented by the bc register de register or hl register so we need 16 bit of data for that so if i write for example lxi b comma 8493h okay so 16 bit of data will be passed through which register b and c register so the value of b will be 84 and the value of c will be 93 similarly if i write the instruction lx h comma uh, 258fh that means the h value will be having 25 and the l value will be having 80f 8fh we can't write the instruction as lxi c comma 8 h because the pairing will be either then as bc de or hl register the next two instruction uh, instruction we'll be looking is lda and sta lda is to load the content in the accumulator from the address which is represented okay so here if i have the instruction as lda 8439h okay that is to load the content from the location 8439 into accumulator that means whatever the content in the memory 8439h is there that content will be passed to the accumulator of microprocessor okay now similarly if i write instruction as sta f093h that means to store the content of accumulator to the memory location okay so here the memory location is f093 and the content of the accumulator will be stored in the memory location that is f093 so these are the two instruction lda and sta lda is to load the content of the accumulator from the from the memory and uh, sta is to store the content of the accumulator into the memory so in the next lesson we will be again understanding about the uh, other instructions of the uh, other assembly language data transfer instruction of microprocessor so in the preview of this lecture we will see that uh, we have understood about the move instruction of how to move the content from register to register and from register to memory we have seen mvi lxi lda and sta instructions thank you